There are so many hidden secrets about our noses, which I can bet you don't know. When you breathe through your paranasal sinuses, its cells release a special gas called nitric oxide. After that, it goes all the way through your lungs, your tissues, your organs, your heart, and your blood vessels. But what happens after that, and how it can improve your health? For that, watch this video, because today, I'll be telling you about how the simple act of breathing through your nose helps heal your heart and lungs, and can even improve your blood pressure. Step 1. First of all, let's see what happens when you breathe through your nose. Your nasal passages are lined with tiny hair-like structures called cilia, and are coated with mucous membranes. When you breathe through your nose, the cilia help filter out dust, allergens, and other particles from the air. That way, your nose acts as the first line of defense against dust, smoke, pollen, and many other allergens and pollutants in the air. The mucous membranes also add moisture to the inhaled air, making it humidified and more comfortable for your lungs. Paranasal sinuses are air-filled spaces located within the bones of the skull, near the nasal cavity. They are lined up with certain types of cells called respiratory epithelial cells. When you inhale air through your nose, it passes through your nasal passages, including paranasal sinuses, which after certain chemical processes, produce nitric oxide, a gas that's known for its vasodilation effects, making your arteries wider. And not just your arteries, when nitric oxide enters your lungs, it relaxes and widens the airways in your lungs, making it easier for you to breathe. This process is scientifically known as bronchodilation and is particularly helpful for people with conditions like asthma and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, because in these conditions, airways can constrict and cause difficulty breathing. And surprisingly, nitric oxide also has antimicrobial properties and can help protect your respiratory tract from bacteria that could cause respiratory infections. Plus, it plays a role in strengthening your immune response, helping to protect your lungs from infections. So, breathing more through your nose means having more nitric oxide in your lungs, more oxygen entering your body, and a lesser risk of developing respiratory infections. Before we move on, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Step 2. Now, when nitric oxide enters your bloodstream via your lungs, it causes vasodilation, making your blood vessels widen and relax. Having more open blood vessels means having a smooth blood flow and a healthy blood pressure. Nitric oxide is also produced from the cells that line up inside your arteries, called endothelial cells. Plus, it helps maintain the integrity and smoothness of your blood vessels, leading to a lower risk of developing inflammation, something that could contribute to the formation of plaque buildup in your arteries. This can ensure better blood flow and a healthy blood pressure. Not just that, nitric oxide also tends to inhibit the formation of unnecessary blood clots, reducing your chances of having a heart attack or stroke. Nitric oxide also helps dilate the coronary arteries, which supply oxygen-rich blood to the heart muscle. This can further improve the health of your coronary muscles, help maintain your heart rate, and eventually reduce your risk of getting angina or chest pain. So, now you can see how a simple act of breathing through your nose can help you have a healthy blood flow, healthy blood pressure, a lower risk of developing blood clots, and overall better heart health. As a bonus, this dilation effect helps ensure that your brain receives enough blood and oxygen so it can stay healthy and work more efficiently. And surprisingly, nitric oxide is also involved in neurotransmission, which is the process by which your nerve cells communicate with each other. It acts as a signaling molecule in the brain, helping to transmit signals between nerve cells. Some studies even show that nitric oxide is linked to the processes related to memory and learning. In fact, studies show that many people with Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, and even the ones who had strokes had lower nitric oxide levels. This could be because nitric oxide plays a role in synaptic plasticity, the ability of your nerve connections to strengthen or weaken in response to learning and experiences. In other words, nitric oxide can also help you learn quickly, remember things, and even make better decisions. So if you often find it difficult to focus, remember things, or make decisions, Practicing deep breathing exercises regularly can help you get better. Plus, if you ever feel down, 
or too stressed, simply breathing through your nose can instantly help you release that tension and feel calmer and more focused. Now just sit back or lie down, take a few deep breaths through your nose and let the magic happen. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.